The adventure log. The adventure log is for me to be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. The adventure song.
our scripture is seen from Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 to 27. And when he entered into a ship, disciples followed him, and arose a great tempest in the sea. So much the, sh the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And the disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are you why are ye fearful? Fearful? Oh ye of little faith. Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. <laughs> but the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and sea obey him? That is the end of our scripture. Have a blessed day, church. Let us pray. To be okay and behave ourselves to the teachers. And Lord, help the sick people in the hospital to be okay. Yes, Lord. And Lord, help us to keep trusting you. Yes, Lord. And Lord, help us when we're going home to be safe. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
two special children who will tell you about someone even more special. Elena George and Mikhail Peter. Elena George, a smart and creative eight-year-old who attended Pierce Primary School. She expresses herself in heart. She loved to sing, loved to play the steel band and cello. When she's at home, she spent time with her brother and plays with her pets. When asked mom, how is Alina at home? Mom replied, she is very helpful, enjoy reading Bible stories and learning more about Jesus. Elena is an empathic child who hopes to see everyone accept Jesus and lives for him. She spreads kindness wherever she goes. She is born to Mr. Joel George and Sister Seymour George, who will continue to nurture her in the admonition of the Lord. Because Peters, a blessing to Mr. Oren and Mrs. Kendra Peters. He is energetic, creative, helpful, and friendly. He's eight years old, and he's a member of the C1 Central Helping Hand Adventure Class, and a student at the New Bethel Seventh-day Adventist Academy. His favorite subjects are Bible, Science, and Mathematics. When asked what he liked to share about himself, he boldly said, with a smile, I love my parents and my family. I like to eat a lot, play, go to school, invent things, pray, and work for the Lord. His favorite songs are Bringing Down Him, and Lord, I like to be like a tree. And his favorite, go tell it on the mountain. His favorite texts are Proverbs 3 1 1 and Matthew 5 8. Matthew 5 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall be see God. Sorry, for they shall see God. Please listen carefully as Elena George and Nikai Peter share Jesus with us today. May you be fed spiritually with God's word. Boats, but 
But Jesus was there always knowing that what to do. And that's their incredible path, friends. Jesus is also with us when we face the storms of life. Whether it's a problem at school, feeling lonely, or any challenge you may face, Jesus is there always knowing and always caring. Jesus, with his power over the storm, teaches us that no matter how strong the storm in our lives, he is always ready to take care of us. We can trust Jesus because he loves us so much. So, little friends, the next time you feel afraid or face something difficult, remember this exciting story. Jesus knows and is always ready to take care of you. Who knows better? Like the disciples in the boats. Sometimes we feel worried or scared, and we turn to our parents, teachers, friends, or our friends to tell them what's happening, right? Yeah. However, what if I told you there's someone who loves us, who always knows everything about us, even before we open our mouths. That someone is our incredible friend, Jesus. Amen. Imagine Jesus as our personal superhero. Have you ever seen a superhero in action? They are always ready to take care, to help us in any situation. But Jesus is even better. Because he knows he always knows exactly what we need, whether we are confused by what's happening around us or when we feel that no one else understands us. Jesus is there for us. He knows us better than anyone and is always ready to take care of us and love us. Amen. In Luke chapter 12 verse 7, it says, But even the hairs of your head are numbered. Can you believe it? God knows how many hairs are on your head. Luke reminds us to not be afraid because we are worth way more to God than the sparrows that he takes care of. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Think of Jesus as the ultimate superhero, the one who never needs an emergency signal to know that we need help. How does he do it? Because Jesus knows every detail of our lives, yeah. even before we realize it. He knows our deepest thoughts and our most intense emotions. Mm. Isn't it amazing to have someone like that in our lives? Yeah. Although our parents and friends are wonderful, Jesus is like our ultimate superhero who is always aware of what's happening in our lives. Yeah. And you know why he's so special? Because Jesus is our best friend. Yeah. You can tell Jesus all your joys, sorrows, fears, absolutely everything. Yeah. And the best part is that he will always be there listening to you with unconditional love. Yeah. Happy Sabbath, Church. Happy the next time you feel confused or scared, Remember that Jesus always knows what you're feeling and is ready to take care of you. So little friends, trust that you have the best friend who never fails. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, please help me to put your words in my mouth. Please help the Holy Spirit to guide me and tell me what to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Imagine we are in a beautiful meadow, full of colorful flowers and soft blades of grass. You are the little sheep, and I am the shepherd. But this is no ordinary shepherd. It is Jesus, our good shepherd, the best one we could have. In the Bible, John 10 verse 14 to 15 says, I am the good shepherd. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. Isn't it 
wonderful to know that Jesus knows us personally, like a close friend. Now let's imagine we are playing hide and seek when the little sheep hide and the shepherd, Jesus, will lovingly seek them out. I can imagine it's the most fun game, especially with Jesus playing with us. Jesus knows each and every one of you by name like a friend who is always close. Now let's imagine that one little sheep has gotten lost. Oh no! But do not worry because Jesus, our good shepherd, is always watchful. He says, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as Jesus knows us so well that he even knows when you feel lost or scared. And the most incredible part is that he gave his life for us. A love so great that protects us and cares for us always. When you play hide and seek or see little sheep anywhere, remember that Jesus, our good shepherd, is always taking care of you. So you can trust that he is guiding you and loving you in every step you take. Let's repeat a special Bible verse that will help us remember how amazing Jesus is. The birth is from the book of Psalms chapter 23 verse 1. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. The verse reminds us that Jesus is like our best friend and shepherd. Always taking care of us and loving and making sure that we have everything we need. And you know what? You can keep this verse in your heart. When you feel afraid or worried, remember that Jesus, your good shepherd, is there to take care of you and love you. And that is so special. Amen. It was so much fun learning about Jesus. Do you remember the story of the boat and the storm? Yeah. Jesus knows and takes care of us always. No matter how big the storms in our lives, Jesus is always ready to take care of us. Amen. So let's not be afraid. Jesus loves us and takes care of us so much. Yeah. And you know what else? Jesus not only is our superhero, but is also our best friend and shepherd. Amen. He always knows what we need and knows us better than anyone. And is always ready to take care of us. You can trust Jesus in every moment of your lives. Let us close our eyes and talk to Jesus in prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for being our good shepherd. Thank you for all you've done for us. We don't need anything from anybody else. You provide everything we need. Please help us to influence other people to be your sheep. And please help us to stay with you for the rest of our lives and until we reach the heaven. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And friends, always remember that Jesus is always ready to listen to you, is ready to listen to your prayers and take care of you. No matter what you're facing, he is always there. Thank you for listening so attentively. Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. When you see me up here, what, what comes to mind? Okay, so I'm the air coordinator of the Adventure Clubs for this area, Willikis, Tiglands, Piers. Newfield, Bethesda, Rita. Okay? And throughout the island, they're having an adventurous day. 
in them. And we have a beautiful set of young people here. Didn't they do a good job this morning?
going up there now. Help us to help other people. Thank you, Lord, for everyone there. Now. Help give them what they need to understand. Give, give them what they need there, Lord. Forever I pray. Attention, 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 attention,